Hey, what's up? It's Rashad Antonio. We are the West of Bros here for House of the Dragon season two, episode three, The Burning Mill. All spoilers. You already know. And man, I got another another solid episode of um of table setting and dialogue. To be honest, I don't like next episode. All hell better break loose because they're not. I'm like, all right, y'all. Like, we getting real Lord of the Rings here. with all this walking and talking we're doing? <laughs> I need y'all to I need y'all to go and step it up. But like, you can you can obviously see that um there are a lot of um, machinations that are going on in the background, and of course, essentially the last scene is is the um the proverbial straw that's gonna break the camel's back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, I, I can't wait. We got a little bit of action in the beginning, but it really wasn't like, you know, they didn't really show us nothing. They just show us the aftermath, aftermath. Of, of, of the daggone, what's the, the Brackens? The Brackens and the, the Blackwoods. Black Yo, yeah. these Who best have been fighting since season one, but really it's just like forever. You know what I'm saying? Forever. <laughs> Yo, and, and okay, let me see. So we saw in season one the kind of. For people who are not familiar with the beef between them, you saw it with um, my man Young Blackwood. I think, I think um, that was Samuel. If I'm not mistaken, he may have died in this um, in this battle. If that's the same one that was trying to um, marry Ray- Rhaenyra in the first season when they, they brought all these men to court to try to you know woo Rhaenyra or whatever, and and little man was trying to. Oh, can you woo woo woo? woo. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that and that one dude that was a bracken who was a tall who was being a jerk to him man i was like oh man they about to kill this little dude and uh, now he the, tables, his own, yo. the tables are turned darkness <laughs> <This> little, <laughs> little man straight like killed well we we don't know if he died or that but yeah i'm pretty sure that injury nah, like he, a death injury nah, he disemboweled that man yo. yeah, so, yeah he disemboweled definitely that dude but and you know, and and that's in that in that ep- scene with them, you saw where the Bracken dude was being the aggressor. But the tables have turned. What we just saw right here, this like literally the opening scene, is you see some Brackens. They sitting there like, yeah, and my man, like, hey, look at my sword, baby. Hey, I could kill a few Blackwoods with this. Said, I'm, a, I'm a knight, your boy, I'm I'm a your boy. I'm a knight now. All of a sudden, you hear Bracken. <laughs> you, I said, "Oh snap!" And you see the Blackwoods rolling, you know, rolling up on my man, and he like, "Oh, okay." And he's like, "Yeah." He said, "Put the rocks back." So I guess the rocks, the rocks, and you can see like a little pile of rocks, kind of, kind of in the foreground a little bit, was like the barrier for the land. He says. He says, man, I ain't move your rocks. He said, no, you move my rocks, boy. He was like, you got your cows feeding. He said, you got your bracken cows feeding on blackwood grass. Put the rocks back. Yo, let me tell you something. This blackwood dude that was doing it, he came with, he was a blackwood, but he came with backwood energy, dude. Back dude with backwood cigarette, uh, cigarello energy, dude. My man was here for the smoke. And he was like, yeah, move that Jane. Walk, walk on, boy. And then, the you know, Bracken dude walked away and was like, baby killer. He said, ain't that what you said? <laughs> yeah, my man said, <laughs> and the thing is, I, I always love when people think they say something under their breath. And my man said, hey, boy, what you say? And he said, ooh. He said, then he tried to get buck. Y'all false queen is a baby killer and a kid. And he was like, so, so, so your people... Declare for Agar. This, 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 what we doing right? The black. He, he said, "Yo, dude is a usurper and a false king." That bracket dude pulled that sword out. That backwood energy, blackwood, backwood and My man walked up on the sword, pointed in his chest, and was like, "What? I mm-hmm. dare you? Like, what you, you gonna do? What you gonna do?" <laughs> Cut the scene where the Bracken dude the pulled yeah, everybody out. did <laughs> has a sword. He looked like God that um that artwork for the um my twisted dark fantasy for the Kanye when Kanye had the sword. Is I about he to say he like, looking like the um like 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 the artwork from what a um um 
Hermes were Hitler albums from West Side Gun. Like I can't. Yeah, <laughs> my man had a sword. His and then they zoom out, and you see nothing but chaos. First of all, the windmill that was there that you saw, you know, saying the the, the meal was like burnt or burning. whatever. It's the burning, burnt, burning the meal. It's the burning meal. And I get and you know that was there, but you just see a sea of bodies Yo. of brackens. And black just on top of each other. Bodies on down, top of bodies. <laughs> floating down the river, you know. Like there, there was an edge. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the body. Ah! That's exactly something right. wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Something was wrong. The dude, they was rough. You know, that was the so I guess you can say that was the first. You can say that was the first battle. In the dance of the dragons, let's, but you let's, later let's call it the preamble. You know what I'm the saying? Preamble because these these families are like the Hatfield and McCoys. They yeah. just look for a reason to fight. You know what I'm saying? To kill each other and spill blood, and that has been their ongoing thing for like centuries. I really would love to know what the history is between. These two families to where they're they're basically neighbors, and they yes, just, they live right beside each other, right beside each other, <laughs> and they hate and they hate each other. I really would like to know that. So, if anybody dope. knows that, hey, drop it in the comments. Drop it in the comments. Let, let you know. Let some brothers know because that was wild. So you we we opened up with that, then we head over to the black side of things, and Rainier is having. Sir Eric and Arik buried together, and I yeah. thought that was pretty cool. Because, proper, you know, proper burial, proper you know burial. I ain't put them in no box or nothing. Just straight dug a hole and just dropped. I mean, you, you, you know, it, it was medieval. Yeah, medieval <laughs> time. You know, welcome to medieval times. You know, he said, so. he said we ain't got we ain't got no wood to spare, but we can we we can bury you though. Yeah, so they like buried them together, and. And I just want to say this season right here has really, I'm going to tell you who my highlight character has been so far this season. And I'm going to say as of right now, they're probably my second favorite character on the show. We all know who my favorite character on the show is. The Minister of Westeros himself, Damon Targaryen. Rhaenys. Princess yeah. Rhaenys is like my new, like my second favorite character on the show. For me, myself, she has, she has shined since episode one of season two. She's really shine. She's really shine. And I mean, she really started to shine really l- the end of last season. Yeah. For real, that was episode. But this, she's really shine. And I'm sitting back and I'm watching and I'm like, just seeing how she, you know, dude, I'm like, this woman should have been the queen. Yo, like on all on all accounts. This I mean, she, Princess Rayleigh should have been the queen. Should have been a queen. I mean, she she knows the lore. She knows her history. She's on top of she's the oldest. She was the oldest of Jaehaerys' heirs. Oldest, yeah, she was the oldest. Yeah, she was the oldest kid. Like every, mm-hmm. like everything for her to for her succession was there. So right mm-hmm. now, when she looked back. And I'm sorry, when she's looking back and assisting basically basically the unofficial hand, mm, you know right. what I'm saying? Like she's really helping Rhaenyra a mm. lot because yeah. early on when she was a kid, she was like, look, get your little punk ass out of my face. I don't care for you because you're a child and you don't know anything mm-hmm. and you want to run around here and try to throw vagina to your uncle. Like, I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? And then too, she did at one point try to give her some she did try to give her some advice early on. It was like, yo, men would rather see the kingdom burn. Try to see a woman. She tried to tell her. And she was like, well, those same men. She was like, well, you were the princess that never, the queen that never was. And you know, these same men have bent the knee to my father and they've declared. She's like, all right, you got it. You know, even at the tourney, for um the baby that died, she was just like, these ain't nothing but tourney nights. These ain't none of these men seen no real battle. She ain't said the no last body, real body battle. Action out she here. said the <laughs> last, there ain't been no real battle in like 80 years around here, you know, like since you know Jaharis like took out Magor and stuff. Like, what are we, you know, saying what what are we doing here? But 
see, they're at the they're at the the makeshift funeral for the um Eric and Arik and and Rainier is just like um you know oh my god this and that blah 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 I don't really know what to do and I'm trying to decide what to do and Rainier is like you know at the end of the day whatever happens whatever started this war is going to be lost in the annals of time oh, and yeah. Rainier in her arrogance was like the they used they took my throne that's what started and then Rainey's basically breaks it down like yeah it could be that or it could be when you killed the baby uh-huh. or or it could be when Amon killed Lucerus or, or it could have started when Lucerus took Amon's eye and the thing yeah. is every last one of those things she said is so true is so true you know, she is the most calm, level-headed, smart person there. And she was just explaining this to Rhaenyra, and Rhaenyra is just like, oh, <laughs> kind of, you know, she had her own little selfish reasons. And I and I get, you know, somebody would have to understand, like, oh, this supposed to be mine, this supposed to be mine, they took it from me, type thing. But she's letting her know, like, yo, this is this the ramifications of this is gonna be bigger than what than your little situation or whatever. So, you know. You got nah, but you're right though. Yeah. But, but let's let's this is wrap up Rainey's because she don't see him yeah. one time. Because even when she uh-huh. goes to um to holla at Corliss and she's trying to let her know it, look, this is about to be really real out here. And like I need you to understand just the, the gravity of the situation. And Corliss is being a dumb man. He's like, Hey, <laughs> good thing I'm a sailor. She's like no, it's not about you being a sailor. It's about people dying. And mm-hmm. we need to make sure that we have drift marks succession. Say, hey, what you mean? We already got some eyes to see me. And, he, and, he, and he's like, she's like, no. We need to make sure that the succession is straight. And I really feel like we should have Bela succeeding in drift mark. Was it Bela or Raina? Because I think that Bela's already. Been, yeah. I think it might be Raina. Yeah, Raina. Yeah, Bela, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Raina. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think we have Raina because she already knows that Raina and the kids are gonna be out. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, "Look, kind of, kind of need to have somebody who's not gonna die, hopefully, mm-hmm. in line." And he's just having this, you know, just normal male egotistical. Nah, we all good. Girl, my leg working. I gave her work last episode. You know I'm good for it. <laughs> and, and, and he and she's like, no, like I really need you to, to really understand what I'm saying. And he yeah. was like, hey, hold that thought. I gotta go back to work. <laughs> right, like, yo, he was he not having no parts of that conversation. He basically dismissed her completely and was not trying to. And, and and I think and to me that really sucked because we really have seen throughout this 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 show from last season especially last season where he did take her counsel a little more seriously you know what i'm saying and stuff like that it it, it, would t- it took a minute on certain things but she found fi- he finally did come around to a lot of her counsel also yeah. one more scene with her too is um rainera is um at her counsel with her with the rest of the lords <laughs> that are with her these bastards these bastards straight up were stereotypical chauvinistic men. They was like, my queen, what are you doing here? We need to just go ahead and start burning shit. You got the dragons. Let's get this popping. And she's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to know. You know, I just want to make sure all things are covered because also earlier, Rainice was like, have you heard from Allison or whatever? And and Rainera has said, Hey, she sent me, she sent the Raven after what happened with Luke. I ain't read it. I don't want it to do with it. She caused my son to be dead, you know, to no longer live. And she was like, well, no, she didn't. You know, that was aiming. But also, like, you know, say his thing. You caused her grandson to know. And she was like, no, that was the same thing. But anyway, these lords are just trying to get this war started, blah, 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 blah. And the one dude was like, hey, 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 your grace. Why don't you go ahead, kind of go on, you know, go off in the hiding, get yourself together, get your mind right, and let us handle this 
we got it. Is she like, what? No, 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 no. That's not going to happen. Y'all trying to shoot me away. And if y'all do this, that's going to be treasonous. And she just got, gets up and walk away. Then here comes Rainice. <sighs> Another reason why I love this woman. She, she was about to walk out. She stopped and looked at him and said, I will have you reminded that my grandsire was Jaharis the Conciliator. And she was like, he outlived. Every, he's probably the greatest lord and king of this realm of all time. And he outlived everyone, including the conqueror. Remember that. And she just walks off. Left them looking stupid. Yo, know, every time, because dude was like, hey, uh, I'm trying to go back home. I got to get my forces together because I know this is about right. to pop off. And right. and I do love how Rhaenyra is like, I'll, get, I'll let y'all know later. Like, I'm not about yeah. to rush into no decision because y'all pressuring me. And I think that's a, I think that's really good to show her. And also, really good to show just the subversion of the of the typical stereotype of a female of that, you know, they're emotional, they're rushing to action because you've seen like, yo, dudes be, dudes be hella emotional all the time yeah, yeah. and don't think about nothing and rushing to action without actually calculating the cost of whatever they're doing. So I do like how they're doing that. And you know, very what good point. Shot with men, ego. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, 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 the egos are very, ego is very great. inflated. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so that's it with Ray, Ray, Ray Nice. That's yeah. why I said she's like my favorite character. She should be queen. She commands the the one thing like that I don't like about Ray Nira is that sometimes she comes off as she's con- she's too conflicted and she doesn't know how to make a sound decision. And she really hasn't gained the respect of even her own men. Ray Nice, you see, they shut the f up soon as yeah. she start talking. She she is like she demands their respect and they and she has uh that presence, that je ne sais quoi about herself where they know that she she's that chick, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. So yeah. back at the um back with the greens. And <laughs> yo, Chris Nicole wakes up and your man is stressed. He's like, yo, yo. he looked like he about to it's a brick, yo. He's like, he's sitting there like. I can't believe this motherfucker that made me today. Yeah, yeah. Like, not <laughs> only in my in my hand, I'm sitting in Otto's room. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to be here. They're like, hey, 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 Chris Tan. <laughs> Small council meeting, man. It's you like, late. <laughs> like, Dang. Like, oh, all right. already, yo? <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll, I'll come in. He walking but, that hole like like five minutes late, grab his little, his little, his little ball. <laughs> but before we walk in, Demetrius Cooper and Brett. Oh my bad, been- <laughs> my bad. Yo, Demi- yo Demetrius, Demetrius and Brett. Is Demetrius just Brett like <laughs> like just chilling, chilling on the steps. He and I'm like, like, are they King's guards now? Yes. And then you see Cooper next to King's guard, and you're just like, <sighs> he's a god to make his frat, bro- his frat brothers. There go King's guard. What? And, th- and you see, Kristen Cole was looking like. He goes yeah, in there. What are we hey, doing? hey, sorry, I'm late. Whatever. Uh, yeah, your grace. I see we got some new kings guard. He says, yeah, we need to replace. Yeah, we need to replace the ones that we lost. So, uh, hey, here we go. Here we you go. know, D- D- Demetrius. You know what I'm saying? He's <laughs> He's obviously strong, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, he's black. Okay. He's, and then, he's I'm pretty sure he can run fast too. You know? Yeah, he can jump pretty high, even with the armor on. That man is a, that man is a natural born athlete. athlete, and then you know, and then Brett, Brett hangs out with Demetrius, so it sounds like a sounds strong, like a strong idea to me. And Cooper, you know, he he really knows how to say my name in front of everybody. He, the magnanimous, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. This yeah, dude definitely. Made his friends, the dad go, oh my god. Go ahead, Rashad. All right, so he 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 arrives five minutes late. Um, Aegon's like, and I know you had something important to do, so it's all good, homie. And they're on their side; they're trying to figure out what's going on too. Mm-hmm. And um, and the thing, an, un- unlike Rhaenyra, Aegon is like, look, I need y'all to do these things. Mm-hmm. I need y'all to go. Um, how about y'all take Aemon? Aemon's like, and they're like, no, Aemon cannot go nowhere. 
Amen cannot go. Mm -hmm. He said, look, man, um, we about to go to Karen Hall and I'm going, I'm, I'm going to go too. Said, I'm going to go too. And then, go too. Like, then, and then look back and say, sir, sir, no, you cannot go anywhere. <laughs> and he's like, nah, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. Like, I'm about to back up. Sir, I understand. I'm like really placating him. Like, look, 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 look. I know you're Aegon. Mm -hmm. However, we still need a king in King's Landing. So we need you to kind of kind of fall back on that. Mm -hmm. And then um, it wasn't until um, Kristen was like, look, yo, I, I guess you're saying, but I kind of need you to chill out. Mm -hmm. And he's like, all right, all right, okay, okay. And then like, you know, so everybody's at the meeting and and Kristen and, um, and Allison had his back, this very contentious back and forth too. <laughs> I love the front they're putting on in front of everybody, you know. You, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of living single, Maxine Shaw, attorney at law, oh, and Kyle. Mark. Remember how they hated each other, but then they ended up being it? And the, the thing is, these folks never hate each other. It's like in front of everybody, it was like, oh, I can't stand you. I, uh, what are you talking It was always bickering, but then when they got behind closed doors, it was like, bow, 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 Yeah, yeah, you bow. heard that. Ooh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's that's really good <laughs> i wish i thought of that that's really good yeah man so 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 maxine and cal are um are arguing in front of the council and they have and put, they put i mean it to me it really felt like at this moment that mm -hmm. allison was really upset and yeah. i don't think she was even that upset with him she was upset with Aegon mm -hmm. <laughs> that he fired her daddy and then mm -hmm. made him the hand you know what I'm saying? Because Allison yeah. right now really is outnumbered. She has nobody on her side, even though she's a basically the um leading team member of Team Green. Mm -hmm. There's nobody on her side that that is of her mind. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Ain't nobody thinking like her because Aldo was always on some look, 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 we gonna chill out. Even um Rainice was like, Look, your boy ain't do this. Yeah, I like don't it's, it's clearly all right to kill this dude. Nah, it's clearly the 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 younger hotheads have prevailed and and she was dead on with that, you know. Mm -hmm. So after the meeting is over, um <laughs> your boy Joffrey's getting fitted. <laughs> like <laughs> oh, Joffrey, you Aegon. I'm not my bad. Aegon's getting fitted. He's like, yo, he said, shoot. Don't I look good in this? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. And he's going, yeah. Cooper, Brett, the bitch is like, yeah, man, yeah. You you, you it right there. You look good as hell, bro. And yeah, man, you, boy, you wear that. Uh -huh. And our boy Lucius, left foot comes up in there. He's like, your grace. <laughs> <laughs> a word, please. A word. Right, I hate when he's, a word, please. Why we got him like, sound like a snake? <laughs> like, what are you doing? And he's like, hey. I'm going out to war with them. He says, I got the conqueror's crown. I got the conqueror's sword. Now I got the conqueror's army, the uh, armor, because the armor was Valerian steel. He was like, I so, am the new Aegon up in here, baby. He said, look, I am Valerian out. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Valerian who gonna down hurt, to... <laughs> who gonna hurt me? <laughs> Valerian down to the socks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Rings and watch filled with rocks. Like I'm not playing no games in here. And, and, and his and, boys are hyping him up. Like, yeah, it like, go ahead, y'all. Go, 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 a god. It's your birthday. And you got the and Lance is like, yeah, y'all should not be hyping this this dude up. Like, relax. And so he talks to Aegon, and he's like, look here, man. He was so. And Laris is for people who. Laris is like the new little finger, but he, he, he's just like, look here, man. Hey, 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 hey. You, I think that's what they, he used reverse psychology. I think that's what they really want you to do. So you'll be gone and your mother and your brother can run this place while you're not here. And you don't know the decisions they're going to make and this and that, but we need you here. It would be probably more prudent for you to be here because we King's Landing needs a king, and he sat there and was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. And, then, and then Lucius left foot. And Lucius left foot about to bounce. And then that's when he about to bounce. And then Aegon is like, "My father never saw a need to have a a master of whispers." And he was like, "Lord Laris, I I want you 
to be my master of whispers. And he's like, you ought to meet your grace. La- all Laris wanted was a spot, <laughs> man. That's all he wanted, a spot, like a, a big time spot. And then he bounced out. And then his voice was like, his boy, and then like, then his boys was like, yeah, yeah. And his boy was like, hey, man, you, you ready to go? He was like, no, nah, I'm gonna sit nah, back. I, I'm gonna sit back. And he was, and it was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should, yeah, yeah. You, you need to stay. Yeah, you think on your feet, there, Aegon. <laughs> so then the next biggest douchebaggery of these, you know, one of the dudes, I don't, it was Brett or Cooper. We haven't decided which is which yet. Brett or Cooper is like, hey, such and such got a new squire, a virgin. It does like, yeah, it did. Aegon so stupid. No, this is when Aegon realized, I cannot believe I put these idiots on the king's guard. Cause he was like, yeah, we gonna go get this, this dude's, we gonna go get this dude, get him some boom boom. And, and we gonna get some too. And he was just like, I, y'all are, he says, no, y'all are king's guard now. Y'all took a vow of, of, of chastity. Yeah. Or whatever. And they looked and was like, <laughs> Yeah, right. All right, cool. And then he was like, hey God, what's good like? No, y'all took a and then it was like, oh <clears throat> yes, you're you're yes, very yes, right. Yes. You're very right, Lord. Hey yeah. God had that look like, wait a minute. If y'all can't keep a vow to to become King's God, to forsake women and all this stuff like that, how the hell y'all gonna have my damn back? <laughs> y'all supposed to be my protectors and stuff like that. I think that was the first time Aegon kind of was like yeah, these dudes suck. I shouldn't be around them, but they my boys. They like to have fun. Uh, yeah. Everybody got a flaw of vice. You know what I'm saying? Thick and thin. You know what I'm saying? Like... God almighty, these dudes were just... Oh. And, and and so then we see another scene that comes up. We're going we gonna to get to Damon in a minute, but this scene with Rhaenyra, I think, was very powerful because... Rhaenyra goes to see um to see um Damon's other daughter Raina or whatever because we know we got Bela. Bela is the daughter with the we going with her hair out and Raina has the dreads the, um the blonde Targaryen dress and she's like look Raina I have an important mission for you and she's like look here you've seen how wild stuff is here I'm gonna send Joffrey and two dragons off with my aunt in the va- in the veil to foster there. She want a dragon, she gonna get these two. And Raina was like, yo, them janks was like, they like super young. They can't do she says it's like it's like she basically was like, she ain't say what size dragon she wanted. She said she need a dragon to perfect the veil or whatever. So you know Tessarion is already bonded to um you know young Joff, young Joffrey gonna send them there. Also I'm gonna send Aegon and um and young Viserys with you too. And because King's Landing is a safe, um, Westeros ain't safe at all. But you're gonna take them further away. You're gonna um you going to Pentos. And she was like, Where my mama died? And she was yeah. like, Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you gonna contact the prince over there, you know, ask him, will he have you? And you're gonna go there. And she was like, well, and then her sister was, and Raina was like, well, what about Bela? She was like, I need Bela here, whatever. And then that's when Raina was like, because she got a dragon, because Raina has always felt like, she's like, I'm a Targaryen, but I don't really feel like a Targaryen because I don't got no dragon, you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. got no dragon, and this and that. And then she was like, and she was like, look, I'm sending you, I need you to do this. And she was like, look, this is the thing. I need you to be the mother to my children that I can't be. I don't know when the next time I'm going to see them. You know how hard it is for me to see. I don't know when the next time I'm going to see my babies. And I need you to raise them and to treat, you know, to educate them, teach them how to fight and all that stuff. And she was kind of like, she was not having it, man. She was so pissed off. Nah, about I it. was pissed off too. I, yeah, you, I, because yeah. you know what they kind of made her. And, and, it's, and, and, and I know it's not like... um. Yeah. Like purposeful, they basically made her Mamie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Damn, mm-hmm. guys, black lady taking care of all these little white kids." Like they really made her Mamie, mm-hmm. and for the for the purposes of the show, like I mm-hmm. get it, mm-hmm. but you know, as in regards to just like media tropes, 
Yeah. Like they definitely nailed this one on the head in a very fantastical way. Yeah. Yeah. And optics to black people in general. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, uh, I was like, oh, this, this ain't really. Yeah, good. that's 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 like that's that's like yo. Hold on, before you even say that, it's like right near like almost third strike because she got Bella out there. You know what I'm saying? Surveying the land, but ain't want to have her son out there surveying the land. So you know, it's like you you putting us in harm's way on purpose because you're trying to protect your kids. Mm-hmm. So for me. The only somewhat saving grace for that whole trope is this. When they was leaving, when they um when Raina was leaving with um the three boys, taking Joffrey to the veil and get ready to take the other, um, she um, you know, she talked to her sister Bela. And Bela was like, and Raina was like, yo, if I had a dragon, I'd be I'd be here, you know, this is a bull type thing. And Baylor was like, no, I don't think you're looking at the big picture here. Like, you have, like, the most important mission of all because you are taking care of the future of this family. And Basically. You are, you, you are in charge of the future of this family and also the future of the dragon. And if you... So she sent... So she sent to Sarion and Storm Chaser two like young dragons with Joffrey to go to the veil to the veil but she's take she also gave Raina not only her two youngest boys but four dragon eggs four now I'm not going to give any spoilers of what goes on in the books what what happens in the book because I think they're trying to switch some stuff up a little bit but if you notice first of all I'm going to ask you this Rashad where is Raina supposed to go Pentos. Pentos. Did you see the drag, the eggs? I did. And I do did know, you know, and I already you know, know what you're thinking about. That may or may not be true. Mm-hmm. You know I what I'm saying? Like, depending on. I think at least three of them. Because I mean, I'm just eggs. saying, like, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. but like, also, the colors don't really match up on them eggs. You don't think so? I thought they did because I thought it was a black, like a goldish one, and like a green one. Nah, and it's not, it, and it's not the same clutch of eggs. Okay. From the um, you know, who who produced the eggs? It's, it's not the same. Okay. It's not the same um, you know, pr- producer of 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 that clutch. So it, I mean, you know, again, a lot of this stuff is fast and loose, and it's just recordings of somebody saying it. So, mm-hmm. what they said about um, your girl's eggs could could be totally wrong, but the the place matches up. Yeah. But you so, know. but I, but you know, like, but besides that. I think Raina has probably the biggest mission of all, and that's the the future of House Targaryen with um those two little boys that are right near that are right near us and that. So we we gonna see what happens further with the, with that. But I thought that that whole scene was kind of very poignant, and I think it's gonna lead back to some stuff that ha- that's gonna happen later. Definitely. Um, Definitely. Let's talk about our boy. All right. Um, Go ahead. The, the menace is is really he's reeling. So he gets the king. He gets the um to Harrow Hall, and he's creeping through the castle like he's um. What's, what's your man from Castlevania name? Simon Belmont. <laughs> Simon Belmont. <laughs> yeah, he's looking like that, just waiting for a ghost to pop out and him kill it. Himself, yo. And like it ain't nobody there. It's just him, <laughs> him creeping on the come up, literally. And you know, just you know, <laughs> just looking stupid. And then he finally gets, he finally hears something, gets to a room, he kicks the door open, and it's like, and dude is like, "Hey man, what's up? Like we just here, you know, we just chilling. You, you, you got it." We don't want no. We don't want no trouble, Damon. You can, you can have Heron Hall. It's quite all right. And he's like, "Are y'all sure? Like, I can't kill nobody." She's, he's like, "Look, I'm gonna bend the knee. Everyone else is gonna bend the knee. Um, but this crazy lady just walked in the room is gonna look confused. We're gonna get back to her in a minute. So, because <laughs> mind you, it's like twelve people in this castle. This, yes, and Heron Hall is the largest castle." In all of Westeros, and 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 like it's literally like opening day of Harrenhal, 
it got burnt down by Hancock the Conqueror and the former Lord of the Riverlands, um, Heron the Black, um, basically talked that trash to Aegon. And Aegon said, "All right," and he was just like, "Yeah, you can't do nothing." And so while I'm inside, while I'm inside my my big old castle, he's like, "You know what? Yeah, I can't do nothing to y'all. But what I can do is cook y'all, motherfucker." He basically. That's why Heron Hall looks the way it does, because um, the greatest dragon of all, Balerion the Black Dread, basically burnt burnt it and turned it into an oven, and Heron's whole family was inside, and they basically died from from dragon fire for that. So yeah, from asphyxiation and being melted to death. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so he's in there, and he's talking to them, and like yo. Your boy is so paranoid. They said, they said, um, hey man, we got like uh we we got we got meatloaf, mashed potatoes and gravy, mm-hmm. um, cornbread, mm-hmm. and you know, like you know, and 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 smothered pork chops for dinner tonight if you really want some. Mm-hmm. And Dame was like, Oh, you just mean to poison me. He's like, We ain't even got no poison here. You know what I'm saying, like, <laughs> like <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, I know, like, like. I know you're hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, man. They sitting there like, "Hey, man." And I'm sure just doing good tonight. So they're talking, and he's like, "Look, um, he, a funny thing is like he keeps on calling your man Prince. <laughs> he's like, he's like, your grace. You, you mean your grace? He's like, ah, oh, man. I just thought since you know you're not really no king, and he's like, right. uh, I'm the I'm king married. consort, uh, right?" So technically, I'm the king. So I'm gonna tell you about that because I was listening. I'm gonna tell you a, a good, for y'all that um that that really into the show. A good listen is the official um podcast after show. Um, it's on all your streaming services or not streaming services, but you know podcast services and stuff. And they were talking, and they said basically, yeah, the king consort and the queen consort are referred to as race, but the thing is they really don't have the same amount of power as the actual king, you know, saying the actual king or in this case queen is supposed to be. But Damon feels like him and Ray Nearer are like a package. Like, you know what I'm saying? We we double ruling baby. So that's why the dude keeps calling him Prince. Because he's like, oh, you you doing a lot of stuff without any official documentation or official words. From <laughs> you ain't got no papers. <laughs> you ain't got no papers, but okay, cool. You grace, you got it. You ain't got but, no credentials uh, at all, yo. And then he was just like, also too, David was like, you so quick to give up this castle. He said, look here, man. This castle sucks. <laughs> he was just like, Heron Hall sucks. It's cursed. And he was like, and then he was like, well, your nephew he said, your, um, your great-great-nephew is sitting. He says, man, we ain't got no love for the club foot. It was like, hey, Heron Hall has only been on fire twice. When your ancestor Aegon did it, the Conqueror did it, and when it burnt down with my with my nephew, with my nephew and my other, um, my nephew, Lord, um, you know, Hand of the King at the time, Lionel Strong, and his son, Dagon Harwin Strong. And, Larry, and Luscious Lucius Clubfoot Larry is the one who did it. And I said, that's crazy that it's known that because this guy right here, I think his name is um, um Samuel Strong or something. I can't think of his name. It. But he is, he's the Castellan of Heron Hall at the moment. He's like, man, we ain't got no love for that dude. He says, so that's why we rocking with y'all. You know, whatever. And so and so then, like, um, he's like, "Why you choose Heron Hall anyway?" And and that's when Damon was like, "Heron Hall is the largest castle; it can hold the largest host." You know, what I'm saying, host for what I'm trying to do here. He says, "Gather your banners, all your banners, and all the other um lords of the Riverland to come here and bend the knee." Oh, we're gonna burn this stuff down. And he's like, "Yeah, that's cute that you're saying that, but I'm not the. Lo- <laughs> hey, man, you need to go talk to uh." You need to go talk to what is his name? Grover Tully. He mm-hmm. is the lord of the um, you know, saying he's the lord of um the Riverland. He was like, I don't know what's how much what much that can do. He was like, My man, he said, My man is like super sick. He can't even talk no more, let alone 
he can't even seal his bowels. Let me explain something to you. When he said that, man, I, I, like, I, yeah. I, I laughed so hard. I said, <laughs> I said, yo, I said, so the next time I got the runs or something, that's what I'm going to say. What's wrong with you? I can't seal my bowels. I cannot seal my bowels. Correctly. <laughs> cannot and, seal my bowels. And that yeah. is uh, Sir Simon Strong. Yes, yeah, Sir Simon Strong. Yes. He yeah, so, so you know, Simon's so he was like. The <laughs> uncle. He's the he's the uncle of um Sir Lionel Strong, who was the hand of the king that little bit of time for Aries. And, yeah, which is yeah, you know. Yeah. Your boys, bro. Your boys, bro. Yeah. See, so he was like, uh, Simon says, I have no power. <laughs> and and then also like um, <laughs> um Simon says, I don't have no power. <laughs> and also, um, oh man, um Damon. You see how sensitive he was to that. He said he said he was like as he said even though he doesn't have you know basically all his faculties together, y'all still should be respecting him because you know right. how he feel about his bro. Right. Because you know uh-huh. going Viserys, he ain't really have it all. He's, all like, the time. he's like yo, that's that's y'all yeah. liege lord. He, he y'all see, they, to the they said, He was like, hey, we, we understand that, but some of these people might not understand. You know, what I'm saying, you know, yeah. saying what it is. So yeah, yeah, definitely. So that's basically. Oh, my bad. Hold on. So, (laughs) Dave, like I said, yo, (laughs) and I was writing my notes down on this, and and I put, Damon can't get no peace. So, Damon is in his room, and I I know that room smells like the most dank, dampest, mold, mildewy, just like, you know, it's probably... It's like a straight-up comic trope, him just... Trying to find buckets, cups, or whatever to put in the places of the leaking because it's raining. But y'all got to remember, like I said, this castle is, is broken the, down. Is, it's, it was the grandest, the, it's the largest castle in the kingdom, but it is completely like not completely destroyed, but it's like not there. Because even he told Damon, told um, Simon, you know, hey, bro, you got to fix this place up. Y'all got to fix this place <laughs> up. And Simon was like, you know what it would take to fix this place up? He says, we ain't got the man or even the coin to, you know, saying we ain't got the cheddar to dag on to, to do this, man. So nah. whatever. He said, but, yes. But- so so back to, to, mm-hmm. to Eamon. Eamon can't get no sleep. Eamon started hearing things. Damon. I'm sorry, Damon. Mm-hmm. Let me get to Eamon in a second. Yeah. Um, Damon started hearing stuff. So he's walking around, sword in hand, and he ends up like Going into a room, and then he sees young Grey Nera. You know what I'm Shout saying? To, um, the, um, Millie, Alcock. Millie Alcock. Well, Alcock uh-huh. is going to be our Supergirl, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. 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 Millie Alcock. Staying in a, back, staying in the WB Discovery family. So, um, sees young Grey Nera. Her singing some Valerian lullaby, and she is sewing. <laughs> young um it was Jay Harris, right? J- Jay Harris, yeah. they got beheaded, yes. Yeah, yes, so yeah, so and Jay Harris head back together, similar to how the um the sisters did, because it, like, ra- <laughs> it was it was raggy and you, too. And you heard what she said. She says, I'm always having to clean up after you, or something. She said that to him, and he was like, What the and his face, yo, he was so shook. He was like mm-hmm what is happening to me mm-hmm. and and then i and then my mind went back to that I said oh i said oh i know what's going on we got some we, we got a melisandre on our hands <laughs> i was like yeah. So yeah i was yo i was really waiting for some magic i said yeah somebody's gonna be be, be about that magic sooner or later and then he's walking Ends up outside. I don't even realize how he, he snaps w- out of it and is like, "Where the hell about at?" Yeah, he, he's, he's like outside. In front of a weirwood tree or something. Yeah, I'm like, like I didn't know they had weirwood trees at Harrow. Huh? Like, yo, yeah. it's crazy. So he turns around. Some random lady says, "Hey, you gonna die here, boy?" <laughs> boy, and he looked like the like, and she was the same chick, but she didn't bend the knee. Yeah, when, she did not bend the knee. Yeah. She was she was disgusted looking. So. I, I I have an idea who she is, like I said, from from you know saying doing stuff with the books and everything like that. But I, I can't wait to see if it's really her who it is. But it's not, she plays somewhat of a vital role, but not really. So I, we can't wait to see that. So yeah, yeah, so yeah Damon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damon, Damon is at Heron is... Hall right now, tweaking, tweaking, tweaking Hall, and it's and like I said, it's. Heron Hall is really cursed, and I was saying, I won't even thinking about that. What you said at first, I was like, yo, this is just Heron Hall, you know, saying. 
the 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 curses on Heron Hall, effing with Damon. Also, too, you know, tar- some Targaryens. Targaryens are do have some foresight type stuff. But I was like, Damon never showed that beforehand. So you're right. I think it is some magical tweak stuff or whatever. Yeah. Um, back at 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 King's Landing, when Allison is meeting with her daughter, Helena. Uh-huh. And Al and Helena was like, Yeah, you know, I kind of overreacted when all the people were around me and stuff like that. And she says, like, I think about it now, like, why am I so special? Because my child died. She said, I'm high born child died. He said, I'm pretty sure their kids die all the time. All the time. All the time, or whatever. And she had sympathy for that. And Allison was like, no, 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 no. You were right to mourn in the way you do and stuff like that. She's like, yeah, okay, whatever. And she says, oh, by the way, mother, I forgive you. And Allison was like, I beg your pardon, what? She said, and she turned around and looked at her in the eye like, I said, I forgive you. I said, well, and there you go. I said, well, there you go. She was like, whew. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> get that get that get off my back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get off my back. So, yeah, yeah. Then we still still in King's Landing. Uh, Next still well, in King's Landing, and we see the same guy with the whitish gray hair who who asked the lady last episode, yo, what do people do that's hanging? Yeah. I thought it was who I thought it was, but it's, I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah. His name His is Ulf. Ulf the White. U L F. It's oh. a horrible name. It's like, yeah. like, like your man was really watching Alf when he saw that. So I'm gonna yeah. change the A to a U. So Ulf was basically just he's like the the um what's what, what, what's what's word? He's like the life of the party, Rashad. Yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All he right, came all right, up so... into the bar and they're <laughs> like, "Hey, Ulf!" He's like, "Hey, my God, what's up? Hey. Oh, you know, you owe me that money. Take it, money." So Your man was like, um, was was, was like Frazier and um, and Cheers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was right. Like Westerosi Cheers out here. <laughs> uh, he's like, "Hey, what's up, man? Everybody, everybody love Ulf. They high five him. Hey, what's going Sometimes on? Sometimes you wanna go you know, where everybody F5 knows your name." Know. And everybody knew that man's name. Yeah, everybody's cool and, off. And so he goes to the table that his homies at. You know, we got a we got another brother there at the table. Another two was yo. He was he was too happy to be getting some free drinks for me. Yeah, he was just, he, a, just yeah, a tad bit too happy to be drinking for free. Tyrone, Tyrone was super uh out to see off and like hey you know and another guy was there was two other guys there so Tyrone's there like hey man off what's good and off is like hey, got a drink or whatever so they get him a drink and you notice who the girl was that served the drink don't you oh uh, who was that if I'm not mistaken I'm gonna go back and see the episode y'all correct me if I'm wrong in the comments y- y'all always do when we wrong about something she looked like the same girl that Aegon had um forced himself upon him in the first seat in the first oh, season. Got the threatened. serving girl. The serving oh. girl. She, he looked, she it looked like her. Maybe it wasn't, you know, I, I it looked like Who had her, that Westerosi plan B. Yeah, he got that Westerosi plan B from um Damn. from old girl. Um so Allison, yeah. Allison. Yeah, 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 so yeah, they're yeah. talking and then um off is like, yo, who's this guy right here? Just like, oh blah blah blah. He was like, oh you're doing it. She was like, yeah, he was like he was like, yeah, you know, my grandfather, you know, he, he you know, he he didn't, you know, saying he, he never got a chance to, to conquer y'all or whatever. And this and that. And it was like, what? It like my grandsire. It was like, they were like, what? Grandsire? It's like, yeah, my grandsire. And dude was like, who the hell are you, yo? He was like, he was like, yeah, well, you know, um, Jaharis, the conciliator. That's my grandsire. And they were all looking and then like, Tyrone was like, "Yeah, y'all ain't no oaf. you know." And then he was like, "Yeah, he was like, oh, what he he said, ba- um, ba- ba- Balon the Brave is my father, is my yeah. dad, and he's like, hey, you know, I'm the um bastard, I'm the bastard brother to um King Viserys and Damon, you know, what I'm saying, and Damon or whatever, you know. So you know my, you know my my, he's like, yeah, my niece." My niece should be the queen right now, but they stole the crown from her. And they like, what? They were like, well, you do got kind of the target, like the Targaryen hair, but it's kind of. Uh, and he was like, he was like, 
I my he says I'm half Targaryen. And my mother's low bit. He was like, look at my niece. He said, look at my nephews. They got dark hair. He talking about he was talking about <laughs> old Luke, Jason, Joffrey, and then he was and like he was just talking. I said, yo. This dude is talking mad crazy to be in King's Landing like this out and loud. loud. And boys, and he was like, a toast to the true, to the true ruler of Westeros. My, he said, my niece, um, right there. And that's like, you see everybody just standing up. I said, oh, they about to kill this dude. Is Aegon, Demetrius, Cooper, and Brett coming up in that shape? With the young squire. Yeah, them boys, like, them boys is like really like a frat, just bar hopping. And then like, it was like, oh, and Ulf turned around and you saw he like he was about to ish a brick. He was like, oh, oh hell king ain't <laughs> oh hell the king. <laughs> oh hell the king. And they were like, yeah. And then the king was like, hey, drinks are on the crown. Yo, they were. So and Tyrone was too amp about that. So everybody's in there drinking, and you see Aegon and his boys getting that little squire drunk out of his mind. And then next thing you know, they take him to a brothel. And Aegon is like, "This is the best place to come." Yeah, to get, to get this is thing to get that thing wet for the first time. Yeah, you know, you know? that's his favorite phrase. <laughs> like. Phrase. This that the, yo that must be like the best the best house yeah. in in all of us in all of King's Landing because mm-hmm. that's the only place they go. Mm-hmm. Because it was a whole bunch of hot toy going on up in that J right there. <laughs> How long was you waiting to say that? <laughs> You said you were waiting for me to say that. Nah, I said, how long was you waiting to say that? Oh, I was, I was, I, I planned on this since this morning. I was, because he put that up. It was a whole lot of hot to it on that, oh, on that thing, on that thing I'm going on up in there. And it was like, look, I'm going to take you to the woman that, you know, hey, she the one that took it from my brother. She's the one you want. Open up the curtain. And what do they see? They see old naked looking like a um like a oh uh, man, I wish I knew what kind of dinosaur that was. It's like it's like a water dinosaur that had the big <laughs> floppy legs, you know what I'm saying? The long neck. Like you know how that you know how that looks like 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 as a skeleton. That's yeah, how he uh, looking that's how he looked in the bed. <laughs> and the thing is, they ain't they ain't bust in on him, you know, clapping no cheeks or no. Nothing like that. Uh-uh. He must stand on my man getting cuddled and spooned up. And a guy and his boys proceeded to fry the hell out of Amon. Now, this is the thing. I'm going to say because Aegon was... I'm going to say this. Aegon is a jerk and is a butthole. But also, I'm going to say because he was drunk. Because I'm like, dude, you sat there and said that's your most trusted person. You also said he's probably the best sword in the daggone round on your team. Why are you playing my man like this in his face? <laughs> in his face like this. Like, yeah. oh, he was like, this is the only woman my brother has ever been with. And he just can't keep coming, he keep coming back or whatever. So you're gonna have a time of it. And he's trying to, and so Aegon tried to play it, not Aegon, Aemon tried to play it off. Stood up and you know gave us a full frontal. I said, "Okay, All right, thanks. thanks, my guy." What's your draws like, on, sir? He was like, he was like oh, "She means nothing to me. Do with her what you will." And he walks away and yeah. like, "Come on, bro, you was hurt. You, you'll feel." Yeah, like yeah, you know, old plezio plezio soul looking at. <laughs> Oh my god, that is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, but yo, but like he, yo, know, and 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 that's the part of Aegon he doesn't understand. Like mm-hmm. I, like I just gotta be cool. So now we're going okay, okay. Now we're going back to to old season one Aegon when he just when he we already know what he be drinking. It's not a good time for nobody. So that's what that's that's one of his vices. So yo, which <laughs> which. <laughs> <laughs> he did a little clap for the chick. So, had the best episode of the wedding. Anyway. Oh yeah. um, so next, what we see is um, oh, we saw this earlier. So Kristen Cole 
earlier was getting ready to leave to go out to war. They they're trying to head to Heron Hall on on ground, and before he left, um, he sees Allison talking to this guy, and I saw a little jealousy at first going on, and he's like, "Yo!" And then she introduces, "This is my brother." Um, like got um. Gwayne, Gwayne Hightower. Not Dwayne, but Gwayne or something like that. <laughs> and Gwayne is being such a dick. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, Christian Cores, yes, I see a Dornish of lowborn status. Hmm, how high, my, how high you've climbed up. I'm like, oh, man, you, I hate people like that. Like, And he's like, cool, whatever. And then Christian Cole, I think, is thinking probably the same thing we are like this chick trying to put one of her people in here to kind of keep tabs on what's going trying on. to keep an eye exactly on me what's going on or whatever and then before he leaves he's like i would like a queen's favor she pulls out a booby rag out of her, <laughs> out of her boob or whatever and gives it to him i know he gonna be like oh, sniffing that thing all night so let's jump back to where we are they're like um on their track and the and basically, Cole is keeping the army kind of out of sight in the woods or whatever. But he sees Gwaine, uh, which is the queen's brother, and some of his men like out in the open field. And he's like, yo, where the hell y'all going? Y'all like, doing? What y'all doing out here? Where the hell y'all going? And he's like, man, it's like a, I'm not about to be out here camping. It's like an end about two miles that way. Yeah, we gonna go get some good food, get some, get some drink, drinks, get some women. Holes in his house. And he's just like, dude, what are you talking about? He says, I didn't give you permission for this or that. And, and you know, he's sitting there, he got it. And, you know, Cole is trying to, uh, you know, assert his authority as a new hand with his new hand of the king, little gold Cuban link chain. He got on, <laughs> only built for Cuban link chain. <laughs> Cuban link on. skeezer. <laughs> Why are you acting like a rep teaser? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He All definitely stuff. was trying to let him know who I am. Right, and so the next thing you know, Cole is looking up at the sky, and he's like, "Hey, we are in, we out in the open. We, we are in plain, we're in plain sight. You plain know what I'm saying? sight." And then next thing you know, Dragon, it's Bela patrolling mm-hmm. the way she is, and she sees what's going on. She proceeds to dive bomb so. Fast Bruh. towards them. So fast. And yo. They were trying to run to get to the woods and the horses so fast. And she was just playing and toying with them. You know the type of fear they had that you know, you know, that fear that they had, Rashad, of them trying to get to the woods because they're being chased by a dragon. We've all had that fear in our lives, especially young boys. We've all had that fear. Yeah. You know what that fear was like? On that bike getting chased by that dog. <laughs> there you go, baby. Rashad, that's why you my boy. That's why you my boy. That chase, that getting chased by a dog, that's my that same God. fear, except they were getting chased by a five-breathing flying dog. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. uh, and listen, for those that know that's ever been chased by a dog, when you're on a bike or even if you're on foot, you get superpowers because you do things that you ain't never listen. I my big tail, I'm a big dude, and I cleared a fence as a kid, jumping that chain because I got chased by this dang old German shepherd in my neighborhood. Could never do it again afterwards. I said, I need that same adrenaline rush for that to, for that to happen, man. So Bella dro- dove down and she saw they got to the woods and she was trying to see if she could find hey, man. Let me go. Let me go back to the house. And she says, Yeah, I'm going back to the house. So we get back to where Rainera is. And she's reporting, hey, an army is moving and they're being led by Kristen Cole. Rainier's like, girl, how do you know? How did you even see them? Kristen Cole from, from so distance, high. <laughs> from that high distance. Remember, last episode, she told her, hey, stay out of sight. Stay high, stay out of sight. Don't engage. And she was like, well, I flew a little bit lower. And she looked at her like, little girl, didn't I? T-? She said, she said but then, I didn't then, engage, said, though. I didn't engage. <laughs> and I was like, that is such a black child, right? Did, did I tell you? I ain't engaged. And she was just I ain't like, messing with him. I ain't messing with him. She was like, all right, bet. And so, and so also during this time, you know, Ray Nira's also grieving because, you know, 
she had to send her kids away or whatever. And she's packing up her little, her little like little secret lock box that yeah. like most girls have that they put notes in and stuff. That little notes that boyfriends then gave them like from tenth grade and stuff. First love letter. And she sees the little raven note that came from Allison. She's contemplating, 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 and she finally opens it and unreels, unreels, unreels it and reads it. Next thing you know, we go to um, Rhaenyra meeting with the White Worm. Masaria. Sorry. And I just want to say, um, like, you like Rhaenys? My favorite background character is definitely Masaria. When I mean I saw this scene, I was like, yes, this just shows you just how valuable she is. She was like, look, yo, um, I heard you, you know, you double back for, for the people. She was like, yeah, you know, she said, but you, I thought you wanted to leave. You said, look, how about you, we make some sort of proposition here? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I absolutely hate the high towers. Mm-hmm. Just, 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 just put me on this, 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 put your girl on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she was I, like, ah, I know the inner workings. I know the yeah, I know everything. Just, just of the, of the red keep. I know yeah. who comes and goes. I know the schedule. I said, just, just, just put me on the council, and I can help out. I can be like, you know, the queen of whispers. Mm-hmm. So, so she says, look, how do you know anything about how Allison be moving? And she was like, oh, you trying to kill that hoe? And she yeah, was right. like, no. No, <laughs> kind of just want to talk. I just need kind of need to know like how we can kind of get in there. And she was I like, I want to talk to her face to face. And she was like, and she was like, hey, said, it'd be what? so much easier just to kill her. <laughs> yeah, right, right. She's like, you want to be the face to face, dude? We can just kill her. We can just like, kill her like that and be done with this. She was like, oh, I, hey, 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 hey. I need to fucking breaks. I gotta her. talk to face to face. And then um, she's talking, and she's like, look. I don't know about that, man. That's kind of crazy. And she said, She's "Well, there is, but it's only one. So there is kind of a way to do this. We can go through the fishing boats, kind of like Damon did. You know, mm-hmm. fishing is plus. You know, they got the blockade, so they're trying to get all the food they can, mm-hmm. so we can get in there." And she was like, "Um, so I'm just supposed to walk in there, ring the bell? It's like, n- no, no, stupid." Hounds is a high. She said, "Look, yo, I'm like if you ain't if you ain't try, if you're not a high board, or if you ain't no hoe." They don't even be messing with you. They will walk you. They, they don't care nothing about you. Mm-hmm. So she sneaks in the same way through the back. You know what I'm saying? But she's dressed like one of the women at, of, of the Septons, looking like your girl from um from from the OG series. Shame, shame, shame. shame. She got her hair pulled back. See, just a tad bit of blonde. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And you know, like she said, it's her and like I guess like you know fake one priest dude. Team. It's one of her king. It's one of her um, queen's yeah. god. Yeah, and, and he dressing up like 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 he a priest. He had the blicky on him. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. the Bible. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he sits mm-hmm. at the front. She sneaks in, and then we go in. And of course, Allison is there because it's her time to go. You know what I'm saying? Um, try to get retribution for her sins. And she's sitting down. You know, lighting them, lighting up candles. Mm-hmm. And Renette is right beside her. And Allison is like nervous about life, but it's like Allison almost cut her. It's like, what you doing? I was like, she's like, hey, 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 hey. I know. It's it's your girl. I need you to calm down. It's me. Who had she, the not dagger? What's it was right near to hit the dagger, wasn't it? I thought it was her that had the I don't know. You could be right. Whatever. So yes, yeah, somebody's about to get cut. Somebody's about to get poked, get that cut action, or whatever. And she was like, yo, chill. I just want to talk. And she was like, what if I scream? She says, yeah, you do that. They'll 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 capture me. They'll kill me and everything. But you're gonna be dead too. <laughs> she basically like you're gonna be dead too. So let's let's just go. And so they're having a conversation and they're talking. And Rhaenyra is like, "Yo, you've got to stop this. Like, what's going on here with your people? And y'all stole my crown." And she's like, "No, I didn't. No, they we did not. Your father, your father wanted you." And, and Rhaenyra is like. Yo, from the day my brother died up until, you know, I saw him that night, he has reassured that I was supposed to be the heir to the throne. And she was like, well, he changed his mind that night. He said your name. He talked about Aegon and the prince that was promised. Bing! Light bulb goes off in Rhaenyra's head. She says, wait a minute. Allison here. Allison here. Excuse me. She said, "What? What? 
what was that he said? He said it again. He talked about Aegon and the Prince's Promise. And she said, he told you about the, the song of fire and ice? And then Allison was looking like, had the same look Damon had on his face last season. Fire and fire Girl, what? what? Hot ice? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about no hot ice. I don't know, 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 know nothing about no Ines Howard, no hot ice. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Shout out, Miss Howard. Oh, Miss Howard. That's that was funny. Like, yeah, I don't she know was nothing. so confused. I don't know nothing about that. She said, well, it was a story that my father told me about, you know, the Saga Fire Ice, about Aegon, the Conqueror, and that there should be a Targaryen, always a Targaryen in the throne. She Yo, she like, said... She said, con- 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 conqueror? conqueror? <laughs> like, and she's, she's like, yeah, like, yo, the conqueror is stupid. And then, she, and then that's where Allison realized, oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> she... oh, this is my fault. I thought he was talking about our dumb, our dumb bastard son. Oh, my God. And it hit her. And then Rhaenyra realized she knew she messed up and was like, Yo, you gotta you stop this. You made a mistake. You gotta stop this. You gotta stop and she, this. And she was like, no, I, no mistake was made. Uh, Allison went 10 toes down, said, no mistake is made. You need to get out of here right now. She was like, girl, you, yo, like, it's about to get crazy out here. You got to chill with this. And Allison said, no, you better get up out of here. There was no mistake made. Rhaenyra with a confused look on her face like, oh, I can't believe this heifer screwed this up. Fade to black. End of episode. (sighs) Again. (laughs) <laughs> Another good episode of dialogue yes. and character yes. building and plotting and conniving and uh-huh. just the utter disregard for life that the Blacks have because, man, is a lot of this is like really looking to be on their back. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they and also because seeing how ain't nobody really down for Allison's voice no more and and I don't out there it doesn't matter how much she say they still not gonna listen to her anyway so it's like so, the wheels have already are already in motion set in motion yeah so here's my thing I'm team black count it you know team black you know fire and blood whatever however Rhaenyra's plan to go talk to Allison to me was a horrible plan and this is why what you were just gonna go tell her stop what you're doing you know this ain't right time you didn't give her an incentive to stop this you know what i'm saying like you could have gave an incentive of look here i let's go ahead and marry little jahara to to little Joffrey, you know, betroth them to, to each other, you know what I'm saying? To each other or something. She didn't bring nothing. Her whole thing was just, um, yeah, stop it. You know, this supposed to be my crown. She, and that's the one thing that kind of, that kind of obsessed me with her is that she isn't, she isn't, she doesn't stand on her convictions and that she's very, and in, she's indecisive about you know saying about things and i granted she doesn't want to go to war and i and i appreciate that part with her because you know what they you know what 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 rainy says she says a war between ken the gods hate a war between ken but there's no bloodier war than a war between you know saying with dragons as you know Uh saying as well so i'm gonna need for rainier to finally uh you know i'm saying put her foot down and actually rule and have a voice and let that voice be known type thing. Also, which is pretty much going to happen because mm-hmm. now she know that like, like Allison screwed up. Ain't, ain't Allison not going back down. Mm-hmm. Um, I, another, another, another small point too. I need for, I, I need for Damon to be a, a slightly better communicator. Like he just be going off and not saying nothing. No, yeah. just not advising. Mm-hmm. And they back at the house, like, yo, uh, we don't even know, we don't even know, we don't even know he alive. I'm like, no, right. who killing, who killing Damon? One. Right. And then two, 
it's like they not since there's no trust in Damon, mm-hmm. it's 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 kind of hard to place all your trust in him to get Aaron Hall. So that that's another thing too. It's, a lot, it's he's too much of a loose cannon. I'm gonna tell you who they are. When Damon's not around, they try to run over Alex. They try not Allison, but Rainier or whatever. I'm True. Gonna tell you what Dame, the, the 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 dichotomy of of Rainier and Damon remind me of into our sense Barack Obama and Joe Biden when he first got in the White House Barack remember Barack was loved but the the Republicans were still trying to kind of undermine him and during this time Joe that Joe that we knew Joe Biden that we knew back then was kind of like a bulldog he was kind of like the big brother of a don't mess with my you know you know you know uh-huh. what I'm like don't mess with my guy here I'm gonna be the one to say you know what I'm saying say the wild stuff and it really won't until like into his second his into his second year of his first term that you really got a chance to see Barack kind of you know take the gloves settle off into and settle yeah. into yeah. and like you know he he get ten toes down and some stuff and that's what to me Damon is and for right and the thing is. I think the person that could really be that for Rainier is Ray Nice, but I think for her to do that, she needs to say Ray Nice is my hand to the queen, hand of the queen, and so that because uh, th- that authority can be laid down even more or whatnot. So, like you said, another solid episode. Um, next week is going to be the halfway point because we already it's only eight episodes this season. We coming up to episode four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we about to start seeing um, yeah, yeah, all hell. Uh, we we saw part of hell breaking loose with the Brackens and the black and the Blackwood backwoods, as I like to call them. But I think we really about to see hell break loose starting um starting next week. Definitely. So yeah, man, that's really that's it for this one, man. Again, you know a lot we of we haven't you know what we haven't done so far this season. What's up? Like MVPs of the oh, we haven't. We really stuff. haven't. And it's like I forgot about that, but uh, I don't know uh, who would you say. Who your MVP? Of this episode. Ooh. I got. I know. I talked about it the whole time. I got to go over these. Yeah, my MVP is is, is Masaria. Okay. Because yeah. um, Masaria is she set up the. She's trying to really trying to let y'all know, like I'm really about that action. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying I put it, in, I put that in my notes too. Okay. I'm saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I agree with that. You know, so I think she's about to have a bigger voice, and let's see what happens here. Yeah, Damon gonna be mad, but who cares? Yeah. But nah, that's that's really it for this one, y'all. Put your MVP the episode in the comments. Wednesday, episode number six. Yes. Episode 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 number six <laughs> of of the acolyte. I think just really popped off. So if you've been like low key on it, go back watch episode five and check the review. And then of course we'll be back here next Monday seven p.m. EST with another um episode five of the Western Bros of House of the Dragon. Yeah, man, that's all we got for today. We'll see y'all.